Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Blues Alley Jazz. Happy New Year! It's still January, right? Thank you all for coming. This has been a very exciting month for us because uh, first we were chased by the Omicron, and then we were chased by the weather, and then now we're finally re-emerging from the deep freeze, and people are coming out. And um, I want to thank everybody for coming this evening. Uh, my name is Harry Schnipper. I'm the owner of Blues Alley Jazz, and for the last quarter century, I have been presenting performances, <laughs> even during the pandemic, folks. How many of this is the first time to Blues Alley? Anybody? No? You're, not all, you're all veterans of Blues Alley? Oh, in the back. Okay, so I'm going to give you the uh, drill right here, right now. Uh, we're America's oldest continuously operated jazz supper club. We've been in operation now for 57 years. That's pretty astonishing if you stop and think about it. I mean, if these walls could talk, I mean, from Eartha Kitt and Ella Fitzgerald and Sarah Vaughn and Dizzy Gillespie and Miles Davis, all of them have performed on this stage. It's very humbling. And rumors of our demise have been greatly exaggerated during the pandemic. Um, but I often tell people that they didn't ask me. You know, I'm, I, 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 I pivoted. They told me to pivot, right? So I pivoted uh, to the National Press Club and we began broadcasting. And the reason I'm talking so loud this evening is because I'm talking to America out there. We are streaming, recording this performance this evening. And you're all part of it, so you got to make a big noise, okay? We've got a great lineup coming up for you over the course of the next several weeks. Some of the greatest names in musical entertainment that I've worked with over many decades uh, are coming back. Um, all aspects of the uh, music industry from smooth to R&B to straight ahead to fusion. We've got Lee Rittenhauer. We've got Monty Alexander. We've got the Cookers to coming in March. We've got Peter White, Paul Taylor. Uh, Mickey Howard, all of these artists, Kim Waters, so many of them have graced the Blues Alley stage over the many decades. And I encourage you all to go to our website at www.bluesalley.com and sign up for our subscription, our week, bi weekly subscription, to keep you abreast of all of what we've got us in store ahead of us. Um, I want to thank you all for coming uh, tonight. Um, Monday, January 24th, is the um, one, two, three, fourth of what is five Piano Jazz series every Monday night, and has been since the beginning of the new year. Uh, we started off with pianist Kevin Howard, and then we progressed to... Um, who did we have after that? Uh, Mark Meadows, and um, next week we've got uh, Bob Bogoslaw. But I'm very pleased to announce this evening um, a veteran of the Blues Alley stage. In fact, um, we're going to be celebrating the 20th anniversary of tonight's performer. So it's very important um, that you give a big, big Blues Alley welcome. I want to introduce to you, are they waiting on the wings? On drums, Mr. Al Young. That would be Mr. Young. On um, bass, I'm just going to call him B instead of Bahram, the inevitable bassist. You ready? You think so? We haven't done this since last summer when we were at the National Press Club. And my wife is here. Oh, there you go. She just told me to say hi to you. Exactly. That was a lot of fun, but this is going to be much more fun. It's so surreal to come back to the Blues Alley stage, you know, after everyone um, poo-pooed us through the pandemic. And now, as we reemerge, 
I'm pleased to present to you this evening, please give a warm Blues Alley welcome to Mr. Eric Bird and the Eric Bird Trio.
Blues Alley. How's everybody doing? No one y'all can do better than that. Blues Alley, how you doing? Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. We made it to 2022. We made it. You know, I don't have time to preach this thing, but if I had some time, I'd say thank you and hallelujah that we made it through, through toils and snares. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my, uh, um, on bass, we have the birthday boy. This is Mr. Bhagwan Kosa on bass, the birthday boy. He was just telling me in the bar that today has gone exactly the way he's wanted it to go. <laughs> so far, so far. It's just going to get higher, Doc. This is the, uh, the beautiful and the wonderful Mr. Alfonso Young Jr. of the drums, Al Young. And while we're celebrating, I think there's a Miss Estelle out in the house. Is Estelle in the house somewhere out there? Okay, great. Birthday? Okay, let's see. Happy birthday to y'all. Happy birthday to all of y'all. Happy birthday, Bhagwan and Mrs. Stell. That would be everybody except us. Happy birthday to you. Mr. Soundman, if I can have the piano a little up in my monitor, that'd be great, sir. Thank you so much. It's great to be back in the alley. It's uh, great to be playing music. It's great to... Uh, um, just make music with your friends and your family. So we are just um, tickled pink, happy, glad that y'all are here to uh, celebrate this with us. Thank you so much. Uh, everything, that we're <laughs> everything that we're doing tonight uh, is uh, from the 20 record. Uh, we celebrated 20 years together as a band, and uh, that's no small feat. If you think Blues Alley, 57 years, that's like the Beatles and then Zeppelin and... Three Dog Night and Fog Hat. They survived Fog Hat. That's something to celebrate. Well, 20 years in a band negotiating everything, you know, that's like 408. So we're just happy to still be here doing our thing. And uh, so this is a, a, a standard. That first song, by the way, was an original composition called Sunday Morning Church. I opened it up with, uh, uh, let's see, He Has Made Me Glad. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart because uh, I'm a church boy. Um, church musician, and so now we go into a little bit of a swing thing. This is It's You or No One, or as I hear there's some musicians out there, Al, uh, <clears throat> or you could call the song Is It Four or Three? And, you know, the cats will get that.
you so much. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to carry on with a uh, great composition by the late, great Mulgrew Miller. Yeah. Mulgrew. And um, unfortunately, uh, I never got up the nerve to go talk to him um, when he was playing uh, at the Mid-Atlantic Jazz Festival that Paul Carr puts on every February. And I kept trying to psych myself up. And then, of course, let that be a lesson. Uh, he passed away, and I never got a chance to talk to him. So um, you got to give people their flowers while they're here to appreciate them. Amen. I'm sorry, it's dark, so I'm thinking it's church. I'm just, you know, it, I'm about to church. Can I talk about it for me? <laughs> you got to tell people <laughs> that the Lord is good <laughs> and his mercies endure, Bhagwan, for your birthday today. So what happens when you let us out of the house, folks? We just happy that the pants still fit, y'all. <laughs> anyway, second thoughts. Second thoughts. Mulgrew Miller, second thoughts. On second thought, but this is second thought.
Thank you so much. That's Alfonso Young Jr. going crazy at the end there. I used to, uh, uh, let's do lullaby. I used to do, um, I used to do uh, uh, music at a church, and it was funny because there was a person there who used to sing themselves happy. And I used to go, how do you sing yourself happy? Like, I mean, I get like you sing, and then you make other people catch the Holy Ghost. But how you, and then I met Al. 20 years ago, and I was like, Al gets himself happy. Al don't need a band. He don't need to know what the song is. Al is just, just a Holy Ghost, all just all up in him. That's Al Young on drums, y'all. And of course, the birthday boy kicked off that solo section, Bhagwan Khalsa, still on the acoustic bass. That song was called a WMC Autumn. WMC Autumn, that's an original composition by the band. Here's another one, here's another composition. This is, uh, um, I think I mentioned, I think, that we've been together 20 years and uh, I wrote this song when my oldest, my first child, oldest was, um, you know, just a wee bit, as they say in Scotland, just a wee bit. And I was walking around the house and he like, wouldn't shut up. He just, <laughs> he just kept screaming, you know, and, I, and you pick up Elmo and he wouldn't go, and then you turn on to it, he wouldn't stop it. And then you, you put toy in his, uh, so I was just exasperated. So I sat down at the piano, I literally went, and he went, ooh. And then he stopped crying. So I was like, oh, I got to write a song called Lullaby for Jason Miles. That boy now is in his second uh, semester, his first year of college. Yeah. <laughs> he might be watching, so I'm like, do your wherever the camera is, do your homework. Today was the first day of class. Do your no TikToks. Do your homework. <laughs> but this is a lullaby uh, for Jason Miles. Um, our bassist came up with this cool lick, and then Al's gonna go nuts again. I, I feel like Al goes nuts at every song. So I, I was going to say that like it's a feature, but it's not. I'll go nuts on every song. It's almost like if somebody was falling down those steps, that's Al. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Again, uh, everything is from the, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is the 20 record celebrating 20 years in show business where we used to be the house band for Ruth Buzzy. Ruth, okay. It's before nobody watched Match Game. Nobody is as old as I, okay, never mind. No Ruth Buzzy. For, oh, yeah. Birthday to you. Um, pand <laughs> and so uh, because you've been such a, uh, a wonderful audience, everybody's been great, we're just going to uh, give everybody here a copy of the CD uh, as long as you provide $20. This is $20. <laughs> what? Do I miss... It's twenty dollars for a seat. Did I misspeak? I, we will give you a copy if you have some dead presidents. If you've got some, I, all of the the reason why we have to charge you. This is the serious thing. The reason why we have to charge you is because all a hundred percent of the proceeds go to our uh, our, our our charity, which is uh, uh, my oldest child, the two children. <laughs> Bogwan's children, and then Al's got two daughters. So it's just, it's a disbursement is what we got. Ooh, hallelujah. I just felt the Holy Ghost just came right in and just, <laughs> if you sow your seed and just, bl just bless this ministry with just a mere $20, ooh, Lord, we can change, ooh, we can change the world. But I'll give you water and you'll never thirst no more. That's what he told her. That's what that book says, Ricky Harvey Jr., pastor. Anyway, the uh, <laughs> that just changed everybody's program. They're like, uh, no, I'm not buying it now. I'm not. No, I thought it was free. I ain't buying nothing. I wish I would look them up on Spotify. Um, the pandemic gave us uh, a, a wonderful opportunity um, to kind of get together and deconstruct some things. And so uh, I don't know if any of you are Robert Glasper fans. Any Robert Glasper fans out there? Yeah, I love Robert. Love Robert a lot. Uh, what I love the most about him is that he can play acoustically and he can do, you know, the R&B-ish type stuff. But he can play. He can just flat out play. And so we um, decided to take a standard and flip it on its ear a little bit and uh, try to do something like, like if Robert Glasper was going to do this song, what would it sound like? And so this is this. This is um, I Could Write a Book. It's not going to sound like I Could Write a Book. But the melody, trust me, would be I could write a book because we had to pay for the royalty to be able, I mean, the permission to put this on the record. Right. So it'll sound like I write a book, but it ain't going to be I write a book. <laughs> I kind of wrote a book. Sort of wrote a book. I kind of be wrote a book.
I could write a book about the way you walk, whisper and look. I could write a preface on how we met so the world would never forget. And the simple secret of the plot is just to tell them I love you a lot. So the world discovers as my book ends how to make two lovers friends. How to make two lovers a Well, it's come to that time in the evening where we make things uncomfortable. <laughs> now, uh, I've been married uh, 22 years, God willing. <laughs> Whew. Best 22 years of her life, Al. I ain't lying. I tell her that every day, every day. And I love my old lady. She's great. She's great at a lot of things. She doesn't really... I can't really think of anything she's not excellent at. She's like super bright, super spiritual, super great looking, super great mom. Like she's got the whole, the total thing. But as bad as she is, if we broke up today, I'd get married tomorrow. Or I wouldn't do it ever again. I just wouldn't do it twice because it's just too doggone hard. Can I get a witness out there? Anybody? See, the people that didn't get help me, y'all want to date right now. You want to date right now. And you're debating. You're doing that whole swipe left thing. You're going, I just don't know. Girl, he seems really nice. Yes, but I just don't know. Kind of like the vaccine. I'm just not convinced. Okay, that's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, we don't have to talk about that. The point that I'm making, here's the larger point. There's the larger point. The larger point is, this happened to me in every dating situation I've ever been in before I got married. I dug her, and she was just not quite convinced. <laughs> she just quite wasn't ready. So for all of you that are, have been, or maybe tonight you don't even know, but you're going to be driving home from Georgetown, and she's going to lean over and go, you know, babe, I really love the music, but you know... Let's talk. This song is for you because this song was for me. <laughs> it's a tough world out there. It's uncomfortable, it is. She's always saying, forget me. And as her kisses upset me, oh Lord, uh, she whispers, forget me. Forget me. She's always saying, forget me. Her caresses upset me. Oh Lord, she whispers, forget me. She knows my heart is all aflame. Huh. 
She set it on fire She knows I'll never be the same Begs me to forget her From the day I met her I knew I'd never forget her This is the birthday boy, come on B, talk to him Talk to him Bagwan Kosa. She knows my heart's all a flame. Well, she set it on fire. She knows I'll never be the same. Her love, her love, her soul desire. Oh, get her. She begs me to. Forget her from the day I met her, y'all. I knew that I'd never forget her. Loving you is wrong, baby. I don't want to be right, I just can't convince myself. My nose wide open I, I don't mind But The band keeps telling me Forget her Forget her Yep This song uh, is another original composition. Oh, I forgot to mention that uh, we are up for three whammies. Uh, Al, did I tell you that? We're up for three whammy awards. And I think this is the last week where you can vote uh, for uh, possible winners. So if you guys, a whammy is a Washington Area Music Award. I think that's it, Washington Area Music Award. So I think you guys are eligible. So if you like what you've heard and you've enjoyed yourself and you haven't had that conversation where you just don't know. You might want to consider uh, uh, voting for your friendly neighborhood jazz trio. This song uh, stands on its own. I don't want to uh, 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 impact it with an introduction too much. Uh, it's just something that we felt obligated to, to respond to. And again, it's on the record. So <clears throat> put together by the band, I'd like to play it for you now. Got a 
text on my phone just the other day. Lost a good friend, she had to fly away. Tears on my cheek while I stare at the sun. Morning for me has just begun. Just too young to be gone this soon. Spirit so high rising past the moon. society you love my culture but you don't love me evil so loud but silence from my friends me and my back is how my story may end gotta march in the streets time to make a stand give each other helping hand Now why are you so Al Young on the drums. Let's hear it, folks. Al Young on the drums. Birthday boy, Bhagwan Kosa on the bass.
You don't look at a day over 36. Uh. My name is Eric. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Feel free to uh, go to the webpage, ericbertrio.com. You can sign up for gigs. We're going to be playing throughout 2022, God willing. Got CDs for sale. I'll give it to you for 20 bucks. My hustler, baby. $20. But God bless you. Thank you, Blues Alley. Thank you, Sound. We appreciate you. Thank you so much, Eric Bird Trio, Alfonso Young Jr., Bhagwan Kosa. My name is Eric Bird. Thank you so much. <laughs>